y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a memory spread for May 20th through May 26th. And I have this fun kit from Crafty Banana. It's the Coffee Collection Mini Kit number two. I'm excited to use this. I've been wanting to use this for a while and this seems like the perfect week because this was my last week of the school year. So I feel like coffee was definitely needed and it's gonna be good for this week. So this is a three page mini kit. Um, I'll show you the add-ons in a moment. So we have um, the eight full boxes. Now this does come in a scene kit as well. Um, I do have a code for Crafty Banana, so check the description. I'll try to remember to put it on the screen here as well. So I love this whole, the whole vibe of this kit. The brick is so fun. And I just love the little flat lays and stuff. So cute. The deco is adorable. So we've got, this is a small, small kit. So I'm going to show you what I do to kind of make her kits um, kind of stretch. Um, she also does offer, not with this kit, but she offers more boxes, which is needed, at least for my planning style. So the bottom washi, I love this so much. I'm excited to use this. Okay, so what I added on was the glitter sampler. So we have eight more little boxes and labels up here. And then I added on the date covers just because I kind of wanted the date covers to mirror the bottom washi. I thought that would look kind of cool. I also have the freebie. All of her freebies are like, uh, what am I thinking? Like coordinating to the kit itself. So look at the little cupcake. It's so cute. And the coffee. Even the laptop, if you can see, it has the scene on it. So that's so cute. All right. So that's what I'm working with. And then here is the spread in my everyday planner. This is the one where I plan as I go. And this is the spread. Um, the plan with me is up. If you would like to go and watch this one, it was called Cosmic Garden and it's by Virgo and Paper. So I loved that spread and I'm excited to plan this all out. I've got a lot of pictures. Actually, I haven't organized them yet, so I need to organize them real quick, but we're ready to get started, so let's do this. Okay, we're gonna start naturally with the bottom washi. I'm just organizing my pictures up there, just out of frame, because I forgot to do it before I started this video. I like to have them in the order of the days of the week, just so I don't forget where they go. And then we're going to put the brick bottom washi down, which is so pretty. I really like it a lot. I like all of the different tones of brown in it. And then I'm going to just write directly on the date covers because I am lazy and I didn't want to go find date dots. But I think it looks fine because the writing is in black, so it works. And then I chose this caramel color for my um, glitter headers across the top just because I wanted to bring in that tone a little bit more. And then I just whited out the whole flag over there and I'll put the date cover over it in a second. I really like the way that the bottom washi mirrors the bottom or the date covers. Okay, moving on to the, oh, I'm gonna put the weekend banner in real quick. Okay, for the sidebar, which is my journaling section, I just put in this You Can Do It coffee full box and then a couple of glitter headers and the this week header and then at the bottom I just pulled in this white full box which is so so pretty and it brings a little bit of like lightness over in that corner which I really liked I did go ahead and white up the lines behind it because you could kind of see it and then I put down a half box which we will come back to that in a moment all right, on to Monday. Let's start with the thumbnail of my video that went up, which was my birthday plan with me. And then at the top of Monday, I'm marking that we interviewed some Spanish teachers. We interviewed like four, three or four that day. I only interviewed two though. Oh, no, it was three and I interviewed two. But anyway, we found who we needed. Um, but And I also marked that I finished up some projects that I needed to kind of wrap up for the school year. And then I wanted to mark also that this was the last week of school. And so I just took a little thing and put last week on there. 
And then below that, I wanted to mark that I felt better this week. So last week, I was a little bit rough at work for a lot of reasons, but it resolved by the end of the week, and I was feeling much more, like, confident again. So I wanted to put that um, down, and I got clarification for my job description and all of that. And then I just put in a little pin later. All right, so I love that full box. It's so fun. And then at the top, I wanted to mark that my giveaway opened on Monday. I forgot to put it on Monday, so I'm putting it on Tuesday. And this was my 4K giveaway. So I've marked 4K on Instagram and YouTube. And it was exciting to kind of give back a little bit. And then below that, I put painful music concert. Oh, man, it was so bad. We had our little end of year um, concert and it's not that our kids are untalented. It's just, they got to work on the teamwork a little bit. And then below that, I put that I got a graduation gift from my grandparents and that arrived that day and it was so generous and unexpected and I am so grateful. So I was very like not expecting that. It was cool. And then starting on Wednesday with a full box and then my video down at the bottom, which was my end of year teacher planner review. That is, I mean, all these videos are up, but if you want to go watch that, I flipped through my entire teacher planner and I'm making a note there that I bought my new teacher planner that day, which was exciting. And then above that, I'm just using a, well, I'm going to mess this one up. But I'm going to use a little quarter box to mark that um, I was asked to do uh, PR for a Glam Planner. And I didn't even have to, like, apply. She just asked me. I was, like, completely floored by that. It was kind of amazing. And I stopped using Glam Planner kits because of the kit format, um, like, a year and a half ago or something. But she has since, like, redone her kit format. And I really like it. So I'm excited to share some of that with you guys in the future. And then above that, I'm putting in that my cats were feeling frisky. They were fighting like all day, like play fighting. And it was kind of cute because they don't do that very often. Especially my black and white cat. She is just kind of an old lady now. And when she gets in that mood where she's like a little kitten, it's just adorable. Okay, I'm putting on this little double box scene, which looks really cute over there in the corner. And then I'm going back to Thursday, and I'm trying to figure out how to put this um, ticket in. Because I know I wanted to put this in somewhere, so I just cut it down so that it matched the width of the column. Or, like, almost it overlaps a little bit on both sides, but that's okay. And then I have a picture with the mascot, who's, like, the cutest thing you've ever seen. His name is Ruckus, and he's a little prairie dog. And he's so cute. So I put that up at the top. And I put that it rained, but we still had fun. It rained a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. But they got the field drained and they started the game at like 9. So we didn't stay for the whole thing. But we just stood around and talked and laughed and had a really good time. Okay, and then on Friday, I have a little meme here about how there's no tired like it's May tired for teachers. I was exhausted and this is when I started to get sick. I still have a cold. You can kind of hear it in my voice, um, but hopefully I'm like kicking it this week, which is like two weeks from this point. Oh no, it's not. It's just a week later. It feels like it's been a really long time. Okay. At the bottom of Friday, I marked my memory plan with me and vlog from when I went to the My Favorite Murder Show, which was so fun. And then I put in a picture of my friend Kat, and she got Teacher of the Year for our district. And she has recently moved from English to Culinary Arts this year, and she got Teacher of the Year because she's an amazing teacher. And I made her take this picture <laughs> so that she could send it to her mom. And then below that, I marked that we had our end-of-year luncheon. We had chicken fried steak. We get fed really well when we have stuff like this. And then at the bottom, I wanted to mark that I had a full-blown migraine by the time I got home. Like, I was seeing spots, and I felt like just full-on just shit. And I went to bed, basically, that night at 
probably 4 p.m. And I had to get up, so I knew I had to rest a lot, which is why I, like, really went straight to bed. Um, because we had graduation the next day. So I'm just pulling in some pictures we took. We take these pictures every year now when they line up to go walk in for their processional. And it just looks really cute, and they look adorable. And it's, like, tradition now. So there's me <laughs> taking the picture with my selfie arm. Um, graduation was really, really good. We had a good group of kids that graduated this year. We're going to miss them. And then on Sunday, I'm putting don't forget to drink water and get sun. You're basically a houseplant with complicated emotions because I really just needed to kind of slow down and take care of myself because I was like worn out. And then this was also the day that my giveaway closed. And so I just put that in. This is my biggest giveaway I've ever done before. So it was kind of exciting. And I'm just going to pull in a little thing to mark the giveaway closing. And then back to the journaling section just to finish up. Um, I put that this was a stressful week, but great week and a great last week. And I realized I was worn down by the end, though, and I needed to rest. So that's what I've been doing this week, like resetting and resting. Just trying to recover from the end of the year. And then my favorite moment was definitely graduation, so I put ahead, went ahead and put that in my half box there. And then I noticed that I had a bunch of cute deco left, so I'm just putting in some of the cute deco. Wherever I had room, there were a bunch of little like chocolate cookies and pens and just cute little things. So I pulled out my tweezers because some of them were tiny. And I thought that looked cute, kind of made it a little bit more special. And I wanted to use those cookies because they looked really good. It's cute. Oh, and the cupcake, I put that on graduation. And then I switched this out for the coffee cup just because I thought it looked adorable. So here is the finished spread. Oh, this kit is so pretty and just perfect for this week. So I'm really excited how this turned out. I just, I love it. This was a good week. A really, really good week. A great last week. <laughs> I will say that. Graduation was great. I'm just really happy with how this turned out. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.